Okay, so let's start our weekly Apple news. And I wanna start with the gold iPhone 10. Reportedly, this thing is still happening. It's in production and is set to be released very soon. Vanya Giskin is claiming that Apple is working on a golden iPhone 10. Well, not working, it's already in production with a code name of D21A internally. Uh, this thing was actually supposed to be released alongside the other two colors, space gray and silver earlier this year, but Apple ran into manufacturing issues. And now as sort of a way to boost the mid-year sales, you know, it's in a slump right now, Apple's gonna release it with with a new color gold. It'll be the same one as the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus series, that blush gold look. Uh, these are just dummies that actually came out before the iPhone 10 came out. So they're not super accurate, but it'll be closer to this one here. And it's supposed to look very cool actually. So I'm actually looking forward to that. No word on the product red version, whether or not they're announcing it, but it's very possible that at the event, the March 27th, Apple could announce this new color. That'd be super neat. And there's another passcode bypass that uses Siri to access information you should not have access to in your device device internally. This one's actually kind of crazy and it's using a very simple exploit, literally just to ask Siri to read you your notifications and it'll read you the notifications from certain applications. They have to be third party. It can't be from Apple's, but such as Gmail, WhatsApp, even Facebook Messenger. It's kind of crazy how simple it is, but how effective it is at the same time. Take a look. All right. So check this out. This is actually kind of unbelievable. I can't believe this works. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I am running the latest version of iOS 11 point three and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send myself over a notification this can be one of many apps such as Skype WhatsApp even Gmail and um, as soon as I receive that in a moment here there we go and just uh, with the device locked I'm gonna go ahead and ask Siri hey Siri read me my notification you have notifications from Gmail everything Apple Pro evil email Siri do not read you are not supposed to be reading this email right now because it is hidden behind. that's all I have so there it is. It just read me my notification, which is clearly locked, and I'm not allowed to jump in and actually access it without a passcode. That is ridiculous. And earlier today, Apple made a statement. They said that we know this issue, we're looking into it, and we'll be fixing it in a future software update. Unknown if it'll be on iOS 11.2.7 or the final release of iOS 11.3. Either way, we'll be coming here very soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, by the way, lock your applications from uh, appearing on the lock screen, any of them that would be affected by this, because this is actually a pretty big security hole. And this next one is hilarious. I could not believe it when I actually saw it. Now we know iOS is buggy, laggy. I mean, it crashes once in a while, but Apple has actually taken this aspect of iOS and documented it in a commercial. If we actually look closely, this is an ad centered around Face ID on the iPhone 10. You can see that there is a text bubble that appears and it doesn't fully animate before the text appears. I mean, it's clearly a bug and it should not be happening, but somehow this slipped by Apple's commercial makers and this went out. I mean, that's just ridiculous iOS is one thing, but when you're supposed to look as good as possible on a trailer and a bug happens in it, that's just, that is so funny. I don't know. That one made my day when I saw it. And just a little PSA, there is a record amount of actual emergency calls that are being made on accidents just because of the SOS feature on iPhone where you'll hold these side buttons together and it'll start the emergency SOS feature. It is super annoying for anyone working in response. So I implore you guys to go ahead and disable that feature if you don't need it, if you don't use it. I mean, you can call 911 in an emergency. But if you do need that feature, I mean, leave it. It's just that so many people activate it on accident and it's becoming a huge problem. One guy actually activated it in his sleep and woke up to a police at his house just because of that. Me personally, I activated it on my Apple watch while riding my motorcycle and it alerted all of my contacts that there was an emergency. My mom was freaking out. Like seriously, turn it off if you don't need it. It'll make your life much easier and emergency responders. And this one is a little worrying. So your phone may share data with authorities without your consent or without you even knowing about it just by being near a crime scene. Now, Google, if you have a Google application on your phone with location services enabled, this is basically working already. If you're around a certain area where a crime happens, the authorities can actually take your data without your consent from Google and uh, you can be incriminated for that. I mean, of course, if you did the crime, otherwise you have nothing to worry about, but still, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want my data to be looked through just because I was near a crime scene. So if you guys have any Google apps that have location data enabled, uh, besides Google Maps, of course, then do disable that if you do 
you care about this thing. And Apple has officially announced several new bands for the Apple Watch. They're calling it their Spring Collection, Vibrant Colors for Spring, and they're doing this every year. Apparently, it's seasonal now. Pretty cool. There's some nice colors in there. There's some Nike bands that are matched with the latest shoes that they released, and actually some special edition ones in there. So if you were looking for a new Apple Watch band, now may be the time. And I wanted to share this really cool Game Boy Advance emulator that was updated for the iPhone 10. You guys can download it and install it today. You don't have to wait for it like Delta. There's a new version called Game Boy Advance for iOS 2.1.6, and it actually works and has been optimized with a third party developer to work on the iPhone 10. So it's not the official support, but it works very well, it uses haptic feedback, and uh, performance is great. Everything works. It's basically like Delta for the iPhone 10, except it's here and you can download it right now. You don't have to wait years and years and years for it. So I'll leave a link to where you guys can download this down below in the description. And I wanted to share this with you, kind of cool. The Parallax View, an application that allows you to really put the AR in your iPhone to use, has came out with a new setting for their app. And it's kind of cool how you can like peek inside of this box and it's got a lot of references to Apple and old stuff, courage, one more thing, cool. So just thought I'd share this. It's called the Parallax View. You can download it in the App Store. And lastly, even more WWDC wallpapers. These were 3D modeled then rendered by Martin Hajek in many colors. They look super awesome. So if you wanted to grab one of those, I'll leave a link down below in the description. They are very awesome. All right, guys, so there it is. Just a quick little update on the latest Apple news. I would definitely buy a gold iPhone 10. I do hope that Apple releases that, but at the same time, it would be a battle between the product red. So I hope that one is still happening too. And I do hope we see it at the actual March event. That would be neat. So stay tuned for any and all new updates. Peace.